Welcome to the new video of VMware vCloud Director. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to enable advanced networking services for specific tenants in your environment. VMware vCloud Director version 8.20 introduced new advanced networking services that a tenant can self-consume via the self-service tenant portal. Now, you as a service provider have a right or authority to enable or disable that specific function to be consumed by a tenant or not. To do so, there are two basic steps to follow. The first one is to make sure that the organization the tenant is part of has enough service rights to enable those configurations. And the second one is to make sure that there is a tenant user that actually has rights to configure those services. To make sure the organization rights are there, retrieve the current rights on that specific organization via an API call. See what rights you want to enable. For example, if you want to enable microsegmentation, make sure that the rights to that API call are present. Re create the new call and put it back to that organization. That way the organization will have rights to configure micro segmentation or whatever services you wish the organization to have. The second step in that process is to make sure that there's a tenant user that can actually configure those services. To see how that's done, let's log into a VMware vCloud Director instance. To do so, log into VCD as administrator or a system admin. Once you log in, identify the user or the tenant user that you want to grant access rights so that they can configure advanced networking services. Let's say we go to manage and monitor, select the organization, in our case, customer A, go to users, identify the user that has, that wants to have access to the new advanced networking rights. Identify the role that user has. In my case, the user has a role called org admin no DFW. Now I go back to system and administration, go to roles and click the role this, that this user has. Make sure in under the gateway services, I have selected convert to advanced gateway. This will allow the user to convert the edge gateway to the new uh, edge gateway with advanced networking services. Also, scroll down and go to gateway advanced services and select the service you want this user to have. So for example, if you want this user to have only layer 2 VPN, um, then select that. If you want it to have NAT, DHCP, OSPF, and BGP routing protocol configurations, firewall, IPsec, VN, VPN, etc. So based on what you select over here, the user will have role to do those advanced networking services. Apart from that, you click on Organization VDC. If in case you wanted to ha enable distributed firewall, then click Manage Firewall. This will allow the user to enable or, or, or to configure distributed firewall. Click OK. Now let's log in as user two on the customer tenant portal. I'm using I'm logging in as user two for customer A. The first thing that this user will do is if they have any existing edge gateways, then they'll have to convert them to advanced edge gateway. So you get into the organization VDC and click on an edge gateway, right click on it and select convert to advanced gateway. Once you do that, there will be a warning saying, do you really want to do it? Because the API in the backend will change. Click yes. Once the conversion is over, right click on the same edge gateway and click edge gateway services. You will be redirected to a new HTML5 based tenant portal 
and the new functions of advanced networking services that you enabled will be shown over here. In our case, we only allowed layer 2 VPN and that's why you only see layer 2 VPN configured for the specific user. Now, how to get to distributed firewall? The distributed firewall is available on the virtual data center object layer. So you right click a specific virtual data center and click manage firewall. This will again take you to a new UI and the new tenant portal and you will be able, the user will be able to con configure distributed firewall rules. So that concludes how to enable specific advanced networking services for specific tenants. Thank you.